Stop getting mad at your partner for not hiding your insecurities. I'll say that one more time. Stop getting mad at your partner for not hiding your insecurities. Technically, I didn't say it. Esther Perel did. This is a fantastic book, Mating in Cap Captivity. If you have not read it, definitely check it out. But honestly, you guys, that was one of my key takeaways from reading this book. It was that oftentimes when our partners do something and we think that they have acted in a way that has frustrated us, it's actually not that what they did was wrong. Whatever they said or did simply exposed an insecurity that we already had in ourselves. So I think about times when you may be frustrated with your partner because they have not returned your phone call. They responded to your text messages later than they normally do. They're leaving town and they didn't invite you to go with them. Little things like that. Nine times out of 10, you guys, your partner has done nothing wrong. There is an insecurity within you and that action is causing you to feel anxious because you're fearful and you feel like you're not good enough. And I mean that with the utmost sincerity. In addition, I am speaking from experience. I have had moments where I have felt that way. And after reading countless transformational books, after going to therapy for several years, that is what I have learned. I have learned that in those moments, when I'm feeling anxious, I need to stop and say, okay, Jessica, what exactly is it that you're anxious about? Has this person ever said or done anything outside of this moment that has made you feel like they don't love you, that they don't care about you, they don't trust you, they don't respect you? If the answer is no, that's how I know that the problem is within me and I need to take some time journaling, reading, doing research, working in therapy to figure out why do I feel this way? Why is it so important to me that my partner returns my text messages immediately? Why is it so important to me? And nine times out of 10, if you take the time to do that work, you will very quickly realize, oh, no, my partner does love me and care about me. It's just when I don't get that immediate response, it reminds me of X, Y, and Z that happened to me in the past and I'm bringing that into this present moment. So the moral of the story is one, check out the book because I can't give you all the gems that are in it. And two, in those moments where you feel anxious or frustrated within any relationship, whether it's romantic or not, ask yourself, is this just me and my insecurities or is this an actual bigger problem that I need to address with my partner? Until next time, cheers.